Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Pyrek and today we're going to be taking on the event quest, The Seething Chaos, with our Sleepy Time Greatsword build. Since I haven't gotten too many Greatsword hunts and I wanted to pump that up, and I didn't want to have to go through the hassle of swapping element for both monsters. In case you didn't see the video on this build, here is the skills at the moment, and we're still rocking the same set of armor. Nothing too special on them, we're just trying to prioritize sleeping, and then we do big charge wake-ups. And here is our quest. It looks like a seething basil geese and a chaotic gormagala. Okay, hello chaotic. How are you doing, my beautiful man? I don't know why I did that. We're a status trigger build. We should definitely try and roll through that. Hopefully he bites. That's not a bite. There we go. That'll work. That should be our first sleep. Unless both hits miss and we didn't roll through it properly, apparently. There we go. That's what it should have happened the first time. It's alright though. Swap scroll. Chuck down a bomb. It almost didn't pull out the bloody weapon there. That was scary. Bam! 5k. Not bad. Ah, too early. That's alright. We'll just power sheath away. Would have liked to have power sheath for the, the damage there, but that's okay. Oh, come on. I'm pressing roll. It's not doing it when I'm inputting it. Oh, come on. I really dislike that, that that this game does that. Where it's like, hey, you procced the, uh, the status there. Except it didn't actually roll through it. It's great. Okay, Angie's here. We get some free damage from that. I'm hoping this event quest gives, like, armor spheres or something. Because, uh, been definitely hurting for them. It is painful trying to do like 28 quests or 28 monster kills just to get one armor piece upgraded. It has been quite painful. The best way I've found to do it is just uh, fight whatever you enjoy fighting or have the best setup for. For me it's like um, going to kill a anomaly baggy and I just fight the regular one with all the subquests and go do as many of those subquests as I can. Because they give one to two each if you can do them. The ones that actually give sub that give uh, king armor spheres at least. Okay, let's just hit the tail because I think we'll bounce off the rest, but that's okay. Should be getting pretty close to our second sleep. It doesn't take too too long to get the second one. It's usually past the second one that it starts to get a little bit difficult to get the sleeps going with this kind of a set. Okay, did double. That's unusual. It's okay though, he's gonna charge. I should have rolled there because uh, that hitbox is a little bit inconsistent. I also gotta remember we can block, that would be nice. So uh, yeah, if this quest here gives armor spheres, I am going to be very happy. Because it has been quite the grind to get that. It's not even the um, like the zenny that I'm worried about anymore, it's more so... How did that hit me? It's literally just getting the armor spheres that has been difficult. Well, not difficult. They're just very, very time-consuming. Oh, that's the sleep. Of course I was one hit away from the sleep. That's okay, though. Let's get another bomb wake-up going. I think this is too far, actually. We'll see. Hopefully I don't miss too many of these today. It would be ideal. Nice, we broke something. I think it was just his horn. Just his horn, I say. That's good for us. Get to do some more damage and less likely to bounce. We missed, but that's okay. We don't have Rage Slash. I figured that out a little while ago. I don't know why I'm not running Rage Slash on this set, but that's okay. Oh, got a heal, because we are in so much danger with this boy. He does so much damage. At least that we've noticed so far. It's leaving. That's fine. We get to sharpen. Now, we do have Intrepid Heart ready, so we could probably be a little bit greedy with some damage. Like, try and get a counter going. Nice, there's a status trigger from the Intrepid Heart as well. Stop this from getting hit, even though we apparently got hit. Perfect. Okay, that's what we needed. Swap to this one. Grab this attack buff, because why not? Straight at his dome ski. Hopefully, again, hopefully I really, really... Ah, oh, come on. That's what I was just talking about. I don't want to miss too many of them, because we lose so much damage from it. We lost like 4,000 damage because that failed, but that's okay. We'll get some more bangs. 
even though it's not that effective, we'll still definitely take the free damage. It's very nice for us. Might just go for a, uh, oh, never mind, we're way too far away. I was going to say, just do a, uh, standard combo here for damage. No, we moved. And, of course, we didn't even get the hit. That feels bad. Oh, yeah, just keep running to the side. I was going to roll forward, but we wouldn't have had enough time. Get under him, block just in case, because that hitbox has uh, caught me so many times. Oh my god. Okay, I definitely should have gone to block like that. Very nice. Put the weapon away, because our unsheathed attack is much faster. There's a status trigger. Let's try to get a couple hits in. Second one. Spamming block. Oh, there we go. Nice. Let's just get away. Get that power sheath rolling as well. Okay. Just do one and two to be safe. Oh, we got the break. Nice. Get over to his face. Just do the standard one to do big damage. We completely whiffed it. Oh my goodness. Okay, 1300. He's weak. I think a short attack would nothing. Oh, okay. This might kill him anyway, so that's fine with me. Do we have a wire bug to pick up? I don't think there's one up here, right? It's usually in, uh... Oh, there it is. I thought it was in the cross zone. But that's fine. We might kill him here. Would be ideal. Assuming I don't mess it up again. But, who knows. One, two. There we go. There's one down. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, hello Basil Goose. Let's try go through his roar. Now. Ah, uh, I was in Trepid Heart, God damn it! Because we'd like to get that sleep off the bat. Would be ideal. Like that. It worked out. Swap off that one. We didn't go get more bombs, because I don't think I'll need it, honestly. At least I hope I won't need it. Uh, five wake-ups should be more than enough for a Basil Geese that takes a lot of damage from us. Swap scroll, because he should roar. There we go. Build up that status really quick. Oh, is that another one? Beautiful. We love to see this. Let's get a sharpen, actually, because we're down to blue, and we want that damage buff. I think it's like 13%? Probably not. It's probably a little bit lower than that, but it's a considerable amount either way. Get that damage in. Smack. Oh, that's lovely. Um, I don't think we can use Angie just... Okay, I guess I'll ram him into Starburst Beetles. Hopefully I don't mess this up. I'll try at least. He's, uh... Oh my god, he runs so far. Never mind, it's easy mode with Basil here. Okay, what scroll are we on? We are on blue, so we get to build up status. Nice. Let's go for a true charge, actually. One, two, three. There we go. No, it missed! Oh, it missed us. And we got a status trigger off that. We will take that any day. Get that hit in. Is that another sleep? Nice. We love to see that. Okay, we got four bombs left. We still got that. We just got back to 30% damage buff. Hopefully we don't miss. Oh, beautiful stuff. Okay, dash over to him. Power sheath as well. Let's just get this going. Nice. Okay. Let's grab this Vigor Wasp. They don't give us Anomaly Blight, so we can actually heal from it. So that's the plan there. Wait for the bomb. Now. Ah, too early. That's okay. I wanted to try get a free status trigger off the bomb. But it didn't work out. That's fine, though. Do two, because he should brawl, which he did. Power Sheath away. We probably could have just rolled to get a free status trigger, but that's okay. There we go. Oh, no, that's... Um, Intrepid. I oh, missed. That's fine. Oh, we don't want to try and, uh, status trigger that one. That'll, uh, one-shot us. It's not worth it at all. Get a second one. Nice. Go over here. Oh, he's doing this, is he? Okay, that's fine with me. I would counter, but we don't have the wire bug. That's fine, though. Wow, that hitbox was early. Um, okay. <laughs> I've never seen that. Jesus. That hitbox was so, so early. Alright, get these hits in. Get two in, because why not? 
Probably go to jump or slap. Yep. That's the big hit. Oh, we should have died. We 100% should have died from that. I heard, um... I don't know exactly what they say in Japanese, but it's something like warning. And it's basically meaning there's a super move coming. Or the equivalent of it. We've got two marionettes. We should definitely use these. I was uh, not using them because I wanted to try and get some sleeps off the openings. But we can definitely use them now and use them to build up sleep a little bit. We don't really want to go for the last hit, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Oh, okay. Get away. There's a bomb there. Um, yeah, let's swap to the other marionette. Slam him back into the wall, why not? Come back over here. Should be good. Was that just short? It was. Unfortunate, but there's our sleep. Very nice. Swap scroll. Find our bombs. Should probably set up a, um, a wheel. Like a radio wheel for... Bruh. Don't waste my bombs. Don't do this to me. We already carded. We don't need this as well. Okay, there we go. They're trying to throw my hunt. Oh, it killed him. Okay. <laughs> they tried to ruin it. it. Didn't quite work. 12 minute 50 with a cart for two monsters. It's not the worst. Definitely a bit annoyed that uh, that hitbox was so, so early, but that's fine. I guess we'll get to see what this quest gives. Okay, what did we get? We got... We got a fluffy ticket. So we got a new layered armor. We got three armor spheres. Yay, at least I got some of them. We got a mantle. Let's see this armor. The Snowy Kahoot Earmuffs. Okay, I feel like we've had that in a previous game, but I'll go check it out. Okay, here we go. The Snowy Kahoot Earmuffs. Cute little earmuffs, I guess, if you want to do like a streamer cosplay. <laughs> Have some earmuffs, you can do that now. Well, everybody, that was the event quest, the Seething Chaos with our Sleepy Time Greatsword build. Pretty fun little quest. You get a cute little earmuff out of it from Layered Armors. So I guess it would be worth your time if you want to look cute. You can definitely do that. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.